Hey guys, welcome back. This is the Spirit Manga 187, and welcome back at another match of Shadow Era. Well, that's a huge deck 111 cards. Wow. Let's just give him the eye of fun. So, I'm back with another match of Shadow Era. It's been a while since I uploaded my last uh, movie, um, but I haven't sit still here. I built a new deck, the Elementalist deck. And I boosted up my rating a bit to 252. Uh, I played some matches on my phone, which I didn't record, of course. And yeah, we're trying out the Elementalist deck now. We're going to play some land Shadow Stark in the future as well. But yeah, I want to give it a try with this uh, with the Shadow Stalker deck. Uh, with this Elementalist deck, sorry. <laughs> We're playing against a Boris Skull Crusher. And that's a pretty tough matchup because I'm going to try to boost up my allies as much as I can. And I've wanted to build this deck for a long, long time. Uh, I haven't played it before online, at least not for a very, very long time, and not this build. So let's see what we're going to do with it and if it's going to turn out to be a very nice deck. And what I'm trying here, I'm playing some uh, the, the one resource ally, Hellstead, that gives some. Uh, attack boost to your allies and plot thirst which are very good because uh, when I play the uh, turn 2 drop almost always I can deal 3 damage in my third turn so that's what I'm trying to do and even if I'm going second so I have a hellstead in turn 1 and in turn 2 I have a 2-2 a two -two creature or ally and in turn 3 sometimes I can even boost it up and deal 4 damage to uh, a Jasmine or an All in the Brave. This is what I'm trying to reach. So let's see what he's going to do. He's going to drain all of my shadow energy. That's okay. And we're going to sacrifice our anti matter. And I think we're going to play a Wolven Tracker. Because that would be very hard for him to choose which he wants to destroy. And it's a very good ally. So this was already boosted up to 5. So we're dealing in 5 damage and we'll just end turn. Or maybe it's not a good uh, way to start against an uh, opponent like this. I don't want to say it is a bad deck, but so many cards. Well. So I hope this is going to work out good for me. Because I really like to show you some more of this Elementalist deck. Because I played against the AI a few games and yeah, the opening hands and the, the cards I drew were very, very nice. So, uh, wow, have some pretty nice cards here. Yeah. Yeah, we, I think we're going for the mind control, but let's attack him first. So we're going to draw a card. Yep, and we're going to play the mind control. So always draw the card first. Uh, even with a Tome of Knowledge or something, if you want to play something else to Detroit Ally, maybe you draw even a better card and you want to play that first. So always draw the card first. So that's what we're doing here. And we have some card advantage and a little bit of board control, if you can call it that. And next turn we are going to pump up an ally again. So, And that's what I really like about the Elemental Attack. It can make any ally pretty scary um, so this is also very nice, it's super focus uh, let's see what we are going to play here well we're just going all out with the allies I think so let's just uh, say we're going to skip this we're going to pump up this and I want to play this hellsteed so this one more damage. Let's see what we're going to draw. Another Hellsteed and Gargoyle. We're just gonna <laughs> overrun him. Try that at least. Let's see what he's going to do next turn. If we're going to do nothing really exciting, we're going to drop the anti matter. But we're going to draw a card first. So I think this is a win. So it's a pretty good start with the Elementalist deck. And I'll be showing off some more matches in the future. And also with lands, of course. But there comes the General. The 2-9 creature. 2-9 ally. 
something 2 attack, 9 defense and for a few resources it's going to boost up all of your allies with 1 am I right or... yep, I'm right um, well that's pretty scary um, what to do? well let's just say we're going to attack him first to draw a card and I'm gonna drop the blood thirst. It's going to deal some damage next to him. Let's just drop the anti-matter and draw some cards. This is nice. And we'll just hit him in the face again for two more, taking him down to ten. And we'll just end turn. So you can deal six damage to an ally next turn. And I'm very glad that the wolf has. Uh, 7 defense and if he attacks it it's going to give me some cards so we'll probably attack the gargoyle here comes a jasmine and we do want to get rid of a jasmine maybe <laughs> let's just see what we are going to do next turn with how many damage and I only play like 3 mind controls in, the deck, in this deck and I'm thinking about adding a Fourth to it and dropping this card. Um, I do not know its name, but it says uh, for three shadow uh, energy you can swap an uh, attachment to another target. So if he likes play to, uh, if he plays a blood frenzy, uh, I pay three uh, shadow energy and put the blood frenzy on my elementalist. Um, let's see. We're going to do. Well, we have to destroy that, the jasmine. So let's just do that. Yep. And do we want to get rid of anything? What do we want to play? We want to play this one, and I have three resources left. And we're going to play Karash probably, or we have to draw something back. So let's just. Uh, I'm going to skip it. Yeah, let's just keep this. You never know when it's uh, if it's going to be any use. Uh, let's attack the Jasmine for four, drawing a card. And this is nice. Um, going to play another Wolf and Track or not? Um, no, we're not. Oh, I'm short on time. Deal him one damage and we'll just play uh, Ironite Garage because we want to keep up the pressure. Oh, I thought this ability was forever, <laughs> but it's only for one turn, so okay, that's nice. Well, I've seen almost all the cards, but there are so many cards I always forget what I do, what they do, and, and sometimes I'm too lazy to read them again. If I don't play with the, with the cards, and there comes his ability, and there he goes, bumped him up. Let's see what he's going to do, killing the hell's teeth, and finishing off the garage probably. Well, we really could use uh, a mind control now. Well, let's get rid of this armor, I think. Or oh, we are going to play this. Um, well, well, well. He's giving me really a, a tough time at all. Um, do you want to pump up him? Then we could deal 1 damage, 2 damage, 3, 4 damage, take him down to 5, 5, 6, 7 damage, 7 damage, 4, 3, 2, 3, 4, 5, wait, let me just calculate one more, once more, 2, and it's 2, 4. 
then we'll drop this on it. It's three seven. And if we drop this one, it's four four seven. And then we do to target the raven and hit him in the face. Boom. Take that out, draw a card. Nice. Okay. Well, sorry about that, guys. I'm playing a little bit slow, but I just have to calculate which card I have to use when. And yeah, it was the right decision after all. Now we have a very big dead mage, <laughs> which he can destroy, but he is at low life. But he has some two uh, two large allies in play, and I have two mind controls left. So one of if I draw eight cards, I would at least draw one uh, mind control. It should be. I steal him from damage, and there he comes. It is general. Like three more. And we could kill one of these next turn, and then we would draw a card. And I think that is what we're going to do. Yeah. Or not. Use my ability, put him down to seven. Then I would attack him, I would take him down to two life. I could play two allies. But he could kill them all next turn. I think. No, maybe not. Because he can attack with the armor tent for him, this one, destroy it. With this one, he can attack this one. And destroy it, yeah. And with this one he can attack my woven tracker and destroy it. But I'm going to take my chance here. Take him down to two. And we're going to draw some cards. And throw away the bloodthirst. And we're going to play this one um, and enter. So I'm just waiting here for a, a mind control, I guess. Because all my allies that I will play will die eventually against this superpower of allies here. Yeah. <laughs> there comes a Broxnorian and this ability. So maybe we can still lose this, right? If I'm not drawing the mind controls. So this after all pretty tough matchup against the deck who plays 111 cards. But we have taken no damage yet, so we can have some. Maybe I should have kept the armor, or I should have sacrificed the armor. It would reduce some damage. Let's see, ah, there it is, right on time, the mind control. And we're going to play it on the Proxenorium. There he goes, down. And we are going up some rating. Well, I hope you like this match. It has been really exciting. I think it was a really exciting match, and I really like to play this Elementalist deck. So this was really the first match online. I haven't tested it out yet online, only against the AI. And yeah, my opening hands, you, know, you can't really test your deck against AI, but only how to see how the card flow is in your deck. So just start a turn against the AI, see which cards you draw, if there are enough allies or enough uh, destruction cards. Or Hey, that's what you basically do against the AI or gold farm them, of course. But yeah, I hope you like this match and some more Elementalist uh, content is coming your way. So don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. See you next match. Cheers!